hey, this Tyler Theater Design Company going to do a, a video today on our remote control system that runs our demo room. Um, we generally use uh, RTI control systems for all of our jobs. Uh, what's nice about that is we can buy one of their XP series processors if the customer uh, has good Wi-Fi and an Apple uh, you know, Air, Apple Mini 5, we can add a tablet app and they're off to the races. Uh, fairly simple and uh, inexpensive way to get a, a solid remote control. So what I'm showing you here is our Apple Air. Um, it's got an OtterBox case um, and then it's got a stand that we've picked up off Amazon. And as you can see, this is our splash screen. And then what we've done here is uh, I've just taken screenshots of our programming. And what you'll do here is you'll hit the start button and that will put you into our home page and I'm gonna explain a little bit about this there's a couple different features here that you're not gonna see because I don't have a real-time video of the remote control the volume here actually tracks the volume of our audio control in real time as well as the check marks so if I select Apple TV the check mark will stay on that these four check marks will go away the weather here is live real time and then as we go through, you'll see a few other features. The main thing on this remote is this uh, screen. Uh, it's an RTSP video feed that can pull the video from our system so we can do previews of Apple TV, Zipedia, and so on, and uh, don't have to go into our control room. So that's that page. So if we were to click a source, we'll go in here. So it's Blu-ray. You can see our aspect ratios, so 4x3, IMAX, so on. This is prepping for our motorized masking screen. And then we have all our surround modes, which are currently running. Uh, we're obviously not in Minneapolis, Minnesota. This would actually say where we're at, because again, this is a variable feedback with text. Same with the clock and the timing. And then again, it, we can actually add variable tabs. So if we're hitting play and our IP device tells uh, our system it's playing, we could even have a little green light here. And this green light is showing that our device is on it'll go red when it's off let me do another page here so our Apple TV and then we've got our cable TV it's Xfinity a couple favorite channels put in and again on the left we have our aspect ratio and surround modes for easy access we have our media server so we got the Zipedi logo here and it's got an Explorer when you hit the Explorer or the keypad button will pop up a keyboard and then we have our RTI music. So this will do uh, variable feedback as well, as well as cover art. So again, that's not what we're playing. That's just the text that's in there. And when we select our song, it gives you song, artist, album, music service, and it pulls from our RTI music server and gives you those real-time feedback. And then our lighting control, which is overly complex, but since it's a demo room, it's nice to be able to come in here and control that. What we do have here, though, is our scene button. So these are all programmed exactly how we want them. Uh, so if we hit white, it'll do our dimming levels. It'll set all the lights exactly where we want. We can turn the uh, star ceiling to twinkle or shooting. We can turn our lighted movie poster on or off, our exit sign on or off, now showing on or off. And then these are our four main RGB lighting zones, um, one being a common, and then wall washer um, we have our lobby which is behind our theater and uh, every once in a while that door will open so we can turn that on or off same with the bar which is on the inside of our theater and then these are actually powering on our RGB lighting controllers so we can actually the top one here is set to turn the star ceiling and the cove on only and then our bottom one turns our stairs poster exit now showing a perimeter on so it's a, a simple way for us to get a little more control and then last, we've got uh, some future stuff we're working on. So we're actually going to put a temperature and immunity control system in the whole entire demo room and basement. And then we have our theater settings. So if we ever add a scaler, our projector settings, so we can go HDMI 1 or 2. And again, these read false because we're doing IP with variable feedback. If we're on HDMI 1, this will say true and this will say false. We can also make it so that these icons change, just change color so we could do uh, green or red I actually like it to say uh, true or false or we could change that text to on or off and then on our audio processor same thing um, this tells us our source this tells us our surround sound format and then again on all of these we can do on screen 
and uh, get into our menu, um, our navigation pads and so on. And then again, the green lights indicate whether the device is on or off. And then last page, uh, second to last page, weather. So this is, uh, again, real time uh, pulling from the weather. Again, we're not in Minneapolis. And then this is our system off page. So we can hit the power off and it'll go to this page to confirm that we want to turn the system off or we can just hit green and go back to our home page. All right, so that's a quick overview of our uh, RTI remote control using their uh, tablet app and an Apple uh, Air. Uh, it's a very effective remote control. Um, we're happy to give you a quote on one of those. You can see it obviously in person in our demo room. Um, and we do you know, a fair amount of those, so highly recommended uh, device. Uh, super simple to uh, get a system up and running and programmed. Uh, the other thing I wanted to go over is just a few of the other things that we, we do when we calibrate a system. So as you'll see on this screenshot, we, uh, we have our remote control fired up, of course, but we have a uh, audio control RTA. We have our laptop open, and we do two things on our larger high-end systems, uh, and most, most uh, integrators will do this, is we uh, calibrate the speakers so that all the speakers are the same levels. Um, and we actually try to do this before we run any Odyssey or Dirac or any of those. Uh, it, it speeds it up and just helps it out, and it's how it should be properly done. Because um, you don't really want to set the gains in your processor. You want to get your levels set uh, via the gains on the amplifiers uh, first. So in our case, we're running the RS-1000s, which we can just IP into to set our levels. But our uh, Avalons and G4s and so on... Um, Amplifiers have physical gain adjustments on the back of them. So we go through and set those using the, uh, D, the DMRTA, and then we set that um, system up. In this case, we're using audio control, which has Dirac Live built into it to uh, configure the system. So you can kind of see we have our, our laptop, and then we have our microphones that we uh, adjust around the room using the Dirac Live. And the second thing we talk about is uh, just basic video calibration. So on... Any of our higher end jobs um, at a, a relatively small fee, we uh, we do some light calibration for the customer. And the reason I say light calibration is we sub our contract uh, for any video calibration out to a gentleman up here in the Northwest. He's a uh, nationwide uh, projection uh, calibration. I, I believe he does audio as well. And uh, he's one of the best there is. Uh, we've had rave reviews from any customer he's been out to. Um, so. That being said, we'll uh, we'll put the Spears and Munsell uh, calibration disc in and do a light calibration on the customer's system so they're obviously up and running, able to watch video. We did the same thing here in our demo room because we plan to have Chris out to uh, tune our projector after the first of the year. Uh, and then we'll probably have to have him out again once we put the motorized masking system in. Um, so that's it for this video. Uh, three more cool videos up on this uh, demo room. So one will be a final walkthrough once the motorized door is in. Uh, and then a second video with the uh, uh, motorized masking screen. And then a final theater tour video. So stay tuned for those. And uh, end up being about 12 videos on the uh, demo room. And then we have a ton of new projects coming up for uh, the new year. Um, all sorts of cool things and then a bunch of instructional videos for our normal customers swapping out batteries um, some videos on some frame TVs uh, some install videos on speakers and so on so have a good uh, new year and thanks much